Hey guys, Chris here from the Patch Universe. So in my video today I want to talk about another writer that I really like. The name of this writer, you've probably heard it, is Charles Bukowski. Alright, so I'm gonna start by reciting a poem of Charles Bukowski that I really like and then I'm gonna analyze it and tell you what I like about Charles Bukowski and what I think we should learn from the life and the work of Charles Bukowski as artist. So the name of the poem is The Strongest of the Strange. You won't see them often, for wherever the crowd is, they are not. These old ones, not many. But from them come the few good paintings, the few good symphonies, the few good books and other works. And from the best of the strange ones, perhaps nothing. They are their own paintings, their own books, their own music, their own work. Sometimes I think I see them. Say, a certain old man sitting on a certain bench in a certain way. Or a quick face going the other way in a passing automobile. Or there is a certain motion of the hands of a bad boy or a bad girl while packing supermarket groceries. Sometimes it is even somebody you have been living with for some time. You will notice a lightning quick glance never seen from them before. Sometimes you will only note their presence suddenly in quite vivid recall. Some months, some years after they are gone. I remember such a one. He was about 20 years old, drunk at 10 a.m., staring into a cracked New Orleans mirror, face dreaming against the walls of the world. Where did I go? I really like the end of this poem. Where did I go? The name of the poem is The Strongest of the Strange. And when you see the life of Charles Bukowski, it's very clear that when he meant, what he meant by The Strongest of the Strange was actually himself. He describes himself as The Strongest of the Strange. I find this text very interesting because I think it's the type of poetry that we really need in our modern time or in the 20th century, the century before or so. You probably as a person notice that you have seen a lot of people like that, strange ones. Or probably if you are somebody like me, you recognize yourself in the text. Yeah, I believe I am one of the strange ones and if you watch my video, you might also be a strange one. But that's all right, because the strange ones, as he said, are the ones who made a few good books, a few good symphonies, or nothing. But that's your choice. That's what I think. That's what I take from that poem. So what do I think, as artists and as people, we should learn from Charles Bukowski? If you study the life of Charles Bukowski, he was a very good example of self-destruction. He was an alcoholic. He went from job to job, from woman to woman. And when you see his videos, when you watch his videos on YouTube, you will notice what I mean. So, what I think actually is really great in Charles Bukowski's work is persistence. You know, I made a video in September 2019 and the name was Oh How It Should Be Made and I told you from my point of view that as an artist you just you should just do your thing don't listen to arbitrary advice a lot of people have really, have really fixed ideas of what art should be like of what poetry should be like Charles Bukowski really did his own thing and he was actually rejected by a lot of publishers but he kept going, he kept going, he never gave up, and now he is considered as one of the most prolific writers of all time. And he is quoted by many people. A lot of people who actually don't like poetry really like Charles Bukowski. Because Charles Bukowski described the reality how it is. And as a poet, I started actually learning a lot from his work, you know? So as you saw in my latest videos, I analyzed different poets. And I think that as an artist, you should really study a lot of art. And that's what I wanted to do today. I wanted to describe a poet who went, went against all odds and became a really good writer. So, well, I'm a strange one. If you like it, and if you like it, you're probably a strange one too, but that's okay. Thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know what you think of Charles Bukowski or... If you have another writer that you really like, let me know and I might also analyze something from him. Thank you very much for her. 
and have a great day and um, don't forget it's not good to get drunk at 10 a.m. 10 p.m. is much better. No, I'm just joking. 8 p.m. is fine.